Hello everybody, Caden here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. We're back on the world today, and <laughs> sorry about this video going up, like, really, really late. Um, basically, I was just really busy today and I didn't have much time to record, but I decided we're going to get at least one of the episode out today. Um, where did I put it? Okay, there's my scarab pickaxe. Um, I went back and I got a bit more tar. I didn't actually finish that. Let's actually get the GUI down. I don't know why I had that up. Uh, but anyway, um, today we're basically going to work on a bit of mining, because why not? <laughs> um, I mean, that that's basically... Oh, we don't even need the iron pickaxe anymore. That's sweet. Um, we'll combine these swords real quick. There we go. Um, but yeah, today's goal will be to get a brand new analyzer set up for our analyzing system, so that way it goes faster. Um, I did go to the tar pits, so hopefully we can get a bit more DNA going. But uh, I think we're going to start off with breeding up our cows super duper fast, and then we'll head down into the mines for some biofossil and other such things. Try and get some more ores, and yeah. But yeah, today's episode will probably be a bit short just because, uh, you know, it's late and I don't really want to record a long video today. Tomorrow, um, we'll do a decent. I think we'll do a decently decently long video tomorrow um i don't know we'll see we'll have to see what ends up happening but i think i should be able to get a pretty good video out um i haven't decided yet what we we do but i'll figure that out when we get there i will definitely figure it out um okay so I'll just do that and there we go okay and now we can just run down to our uh cave i guess um you know what actually let's go and search and see if we can find a new cave because that mine i've kind of expended it so i'd like to see if we can go to a new area for a little bit just for this episode maybe but actually you know what i'm probably gonna do um pretty soon i might make a much larger strip mine because that will probably be a way better idea then we uh you know don't have to just uh one that uh, I can't even explain it. It's like a circular hole in the ground where I can dig off in any direction very easily, and that's a weird-looking hole in the ground. <laughs> it's a little rectangle of death. The rectangle of doom. It's like Mount Doom, but a rectangle. And something tells me I was already over here before. I guess not, but... Huh. Ooh, ancient helmet. I might get one of those. Set up. That'd be kind of cool. Get some ancient gear on the go. Oh man, the Scarab Gym uh, pickaxe is incredible. It really is like the best thing I've ever made. <laughs> Ooh, that's scary. Okay. Whew. Creepers. Am I right? Okay, shouldn't really do this anywhere near lava, because, you know, that's not a very smart idea, Caden. Try and play it smart here, you know, don't really want to die again, because that'd be pretty unfortunate if I was to die again. Pretty unfortunate. But, let's see, so we'll just run in here, get some stuff, and then find the next little cave we can go into. And maybe there'll be a cool one in the nether, not the nether, we can't even get to the nether right now. Uh, in te Spruce Forest. That'll, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, okay. So, let's see. Sorry if my commentary isn't top-notch right now. Uh, just tired, long day, but... Ooh, got a little inlet here. That's a pretty cool little inlet. Um, but let's see. Have we got anything over here? Oh yeah, there's the Moai. The, it's Maui statue, isn't it? It's not Moai, it's Maui statue. Um... Yeah, I think I was pronouncing it wrong <laughs> in that episode, which is pretty bad, but, you know, we'll, we'll fix... I will correct everything shortly as time goes on, but anyway, let's just go around here and see what's happening. Any caves? Probably not. That's unfortunate, but you know what? We're going to get through it. We're going to get through the caveless sections of the world to find the sections that do have caves, and that will give me tons of resources for free, because you know what? That's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, actually, you know what, that's the thing I'll probably have you guys vote on tonight, 
is so i have said i'm gonna do an episode tomorrow it may be a live stream i'm not sure i haven't really figured out what the episode is going to be but i think we may get our first creature in tomorrow if everything goes according to plan and i have time to live stream we'll probably get our first animal into the park and yeah so i guess you guys can vote for that tonight um just you know pick if you if i do have you guys vote for it Pick something reasonable. I'm not going to do something like the T-Rex or an aquarium type creature just because, well, we've just started off. Like, Try and keep it, you know, a decently sized creature. And wow, we have no biofossil, which is the only thing I'm out for. <sighs> come on, game. Come on. Give me a bit of biofossil. Come on, a bit of biofossil. So yeah, um, hopefully tomorrow we can get our first creature into the park. And yeah, just... If you want to suggest one, make sure it's a reasonable creature suggestion and not like, oh, you should put the T-Rex in because, you know, that's a great idea because that, that would just ruin me <laughs> probably. I need to get a better farming system set up. Actually, yeah, I was going to set up an automated farm because um, we have dinosaur hunger on and the big old wheat farm isn't going to be a great idea if we need to constantly, you know, feed dinosaurs. Also, you guys did tell me... Oh, there we go. Biofossil. Finally. Um, you guys did tell me that, uh, for you guys at least, the feeders are working. So, you know what? We're going to try and put a lot of feeders in the park. Hopefully that will work perfectly fine. And if it doesn't, you know what? That's okay. If it doesn't, that's fine. We will find a way. To quote Ian Malcolm, life finds a way. And uh, we will find a way to get things done. Oh, man. You know what would be really cool is if we got another scare gem. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would make my day if a scarab gem dropped. So, other things to talk about. Um, yeah, for those of you who are wondering uh, about why I haven't uploaded a zoo's episode recently, it's coming uh, next week. Don't worry about that. The zoo series will be return or wildlife park series will be returning next week. Um, I just wanted to take a full week to you know get dinosaurs fully back into a, its swing and then you know. We, after that, this, we will uh, just return to doing it every other day. Pro not every other day, but, you know, twice a week. And then, yeah. I was considering doing it Monday, Wednesday, but I'm thinking I might actually put a bit more time in between the episodes. Maybe Monday, Thursday or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I haven't really figured out my schedule yet. I'm going to figure that out later because, you know, why not? <laughs> well, actually, I probably should figure it out earlier because as soon as sooner rather than later because if I don't figure it out soon I will uh, be very confused next week when I start recording and wonder you know which episode should I actually put up first oh that's a pitfall and a half um I'm not gonna go down there today um let's see how much about fossil do we get we have six so that's enough for a full analyzer and you know a bit extra to get for DNA um I'll just check up here if there's any biofossil or not biofossil, but fossil block. Uh, andesite, marble. I'd really like to do some cool stuff with andesite, marble, and like limestone and stuff this season, or this for this park. I think we could get some cool stuff done. <gasps> oh! I forgot, I added storage drawers. That has been in the mod pack since day one. Also, um... Uh... If anyone... I, I asked last episode, I think. Um, if you guys think I should add colorful portals to the mod pack, and I don't know, I'll, I'll still ask that again. Um, even if I don't get feedback, I'll probably either just, just decide whether or not I'm going to add it in, but I don't even know what it costs, so I don't know how powerful it is, if it's something that's going to, you know, like, make my game ten times easier based on them just being really cheap to craft or something. Um, I'll have to figure all that stuff out later, but I think it'd be a fun mod to add in. Plus, it makes it so we don't have to do this like what we're doing right now all the time because i know um from personal experience you know just making a ton of videos you guys don't generally like seem to enjoy it as much when i'm just hopping around the world you know doing nothing you guys seem to enjoy it more when i'm like building or you know doing something that's got like a task and an agenda set to it so um it would definitely cut out the amount of epi the amount of episode time we have to spend doing this kind of stuff which I think could be quite good. Yeah, I mean, the other mod I could probably use would be uh, the portal gun mod, but I'd, I'd rather use uh, something else, because, I don't know, portal guns, I think, are a bit too easy. I don't know, because, 
don't know. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Okay, anyway, I need to grab some iron, some iron out of this, and no, wait, it's on the bottom. Biofossil bottom, relic scrap up top. There we go. Analyzer. Analyzer. Uh, we'll take that. No, wait. There we go. There, yeah, sure. Uh, okay, throw this in here, and then we'll go and we will grab that. Okay, so any new DNA so far? Does not look like it. But you know what? That is a okay because, well, I mean, we don't need to get DNA constantly. That is something we do not constantly need. I mean, heck, we got a lot of DNA already. So, yeah, this is the stuff I guess you guys can choose from. We got, okay, animals, I'd probably say we could probably do tomorrow Dodo, Packy, Dilophosaurus, Velociraptor, I'd probably do Hinotus, um, Deinonychus. I think we could even do a Stegosaurus if we wanted to, and probably a Titan. We could actually, aside from Elasmotherium, we could probably do any of the Ice Age creatures in the next episode. Yeah, we, I think we could do that actually quite easily. Okay, I'll just shove all wrong thing, shove all this in here, and then this one will be the actual uh, DNA stuff. Yeah, that, that, that works. That works quite well. Ooh. I'm actually trying to think um, what I want to do for the dodo exhibit. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting some cool ideas, guys. I'm getting some cool ideas running through my head about what we could do. The tar fossil, throw that in here. And I've got any new DNA. Nope. Well, that's okay. And, oh, more sand. And let's see over here. Man, we got a lot of stuff to get through. <laughs> I, I need to get the analyzer system I set up last time going, which I believe was four analyzers. No, it was like four or five analyzers. Of course, so that'll work a lot better when we have a laboratory to work with, because currently, you know, we don't really have the most amount of space to put stuff in. Actually, you know what? While we're waiting for that to analyze, we could just walk around the world and uh, see where we could put things. So Home Island, or Sturgeon Island as I've called it, uh, this is probably going to remain mostly untouched. I mean, the things that will probably change here is uh, going to actually finish building the house. Going to add a roof in, a second floor in, probably a basement maybe. You know, really make it look nice. Uh, the cows will probably be moved somewhere like over there. And the wheat will be turned into an automated farm, so or a semi-automatic farm, so I don't need to worry about that. And then I'm thinking like here is about where the park is gonna start. So exhibits will begin around here. I'm gonna level all this ground out and stuff. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what ends up happening. I'm trying to think where could we put a lab? I mean, we could build an underground lab again and put it in there. That would be pretty cool actually, building another underground lab. I liked that thing. That was pretty cool actually. Yeah, I've got some good ideas I think for stuff we can end up doing. Two more tar fossils, we got another quagga and a kalenkin. That's pretty cool. I think that's the largest terror bird in the mod. I think? I'm not sure if I'm right though. We'll just throw all the relic scraps in here because I mean, I don't really have any other use for them right now. This was the thing I always thought, thought was funny. The broken ancient helmet and like all the other stuff you uh, use relic scraps for takes like forever and takes a ton of these to make but repairing my pickaxe takes next to nothing so i don't know i just thought that was a bit funny but yeah whatever whatever another elasmatherium i oh yeah we could do oh we might struggle doing quagga because i just realized to make the quagga you need a horse we don't have any horses so I mean, yeah, there are horses by the village. We need a saddle first. Fishing. We could do fishing t to get a saddle. Use a saddle to bring a horse here. Use the horse to make quaggas. And then have quagga exhibit. <laughs> I don't know. Lo somewhat stretching my logic here, but, you know. Another quagga? Looks like the game's telling me something. Like, maybe I should do quagga stuff. Ooh. Tons of bone meal. 
And, you know, I think we'll just wait for these four to analyze, and then I'm probably going to end today's episode off. So, yeah, really, really short episode compared to the last couple. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the longer episodes. Um, I think after this week, they are going to slow down a bit. Well, not slow down, but they're uh, not going to be as long after, <laughs> you know, t tomorrow. Just because, you know, I've got to record several episodes in a week, and then especially when school starts back up, definitely not going to be, like, hour-long videos anymore, because... I really just won't have that time. Ooh, another Kalenkin. That's pretty cool. And the final one. What is it? <gasps> another Elasmatherium. We got a lot of Ice Age creatures now. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So, looks like I should probably do some more biofossil mining. Um, you know, maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow. Tomorrow could probably be biofossil mining, and then we'll go and work on our first dinosaur or creature or whatever you know you guys pick. Notice though, I'm probably not going to pick anything that's aquatic, just because I don't really have anywhere to keep it. I mean, yeah, we could keep it in the river, I guess, but I'd rather not keep it in the river. I mainly just because of flashbacks to another park I built um, in my spare time years ago, where I had a river and I kind of blocked off the ends and I put mosasaurs in it, and it was mosasaur river for so long, and I died so many times in that river, so many times. It was crazy how much I died. Just because the Mosasaurs, I'd be, I'd accidentally like jump in the river because I didn't build bridges back then, and I'd just get destroyed by a Mosasaur, and it was really unfortunate, and I lost a lot of levels that way. Oh gosh, I got the hiccups now. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very short episode. Um, tomorrow, yeah, either an episode or a live stream where I'll just be probably working on mining and then getting a creature. If you guys can pick one, if not, I will pick one to add in. But yeah, until then, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and until next time, guys, see ya.